Okay, let's take a look at exam six, which is all about methods. And we start by looking at this diagram and specifying what each thing is. So if we look at the diagram, the first line on this method is called the method header, or the method head. Either one is fine. And then, of course, the next part, which is in between the two curly brackets, that's the method body. Number three is either going to be public or private, and that is what we call the access type. And that tells us what kind of security this method has, whether this method can be called by any kind of code within the program, or if it only can be called by other methods within the same class. Public means that any other code can call it. Then number four, that's that integer there, that's called the return type. And it could be an integer, or it could be an array, or it could be a string, or it could be an object. What type of data this method returns? Here we have the identifier after that. And then within these parentheses, we have a bunch of values here that are separated by commas. We have a data type and then an identifier. These are called parameters. Those are the parameters. And then number six, we have one line of code that says return, which is a keyword. And then in this case, we're returning a variable called result, which is declared up here. <clears throat> this is what we call the return statement. And that's the last thing that we're going to have on a method that has a return type. That'll be the last line. Once it's returned, nothing else there will be no other lines of code below that because they'll be unreachable because the return terminates the method. Okay, let's take a look at question number seven. Which of the following is usable? Which of the following is a usable method header? And here we say public take damage. Well, that doesn't have a return type, and so that's no good. Public void take damage. This uh, does not have parentheses after the identifier, and it's got to have those. Public void take damage in parentheses. Okay, that one's good. Last one, public int take damage. This has curly brackets. We need those parentheses, not the curly brackets. <clears throat> Question number eight. Create a mutator method called plus one that only changes the value of the object's total points field by one and does not require any parameters. So we're going to create a mutator method. And uh, this could be public or private, but it's got to be one or the other. I'm going to make it public, and then I'll put, so that's the access type. I'll put the return type, and let me see, this does not return anything because it's a mutator method. So mutator methods almost always have a void return type. We want to call it plus one. And what it does is it changes the total point field by one and does not require any parameters. So I've got my parameter field here in these parentheses, which are empty. Put some curly brackets, which will make up the body of my method. And here I'm just saying that my total points plus plus. So it's going to change the value of the object's total points field by one. And so total points plus plus, that's one way to do that. We could also say total points plus equals one, or we could say total points equals total points plus one. Three different ways to do it. This is the easiest way to do it, total points plus plus. Okay, question number nine. Create a mutator method called reduce HP that reduces the value of the object's HP field by an integer called hit damage passed to the method as a parameter. Okay, so we've got to have it public or private. I'll go ahead and make it public. And uh, the return is also void. This is a mutator method, so it's going to be void. It's just going to change the field. It's called reduce HP. That's the identifier. We've got our parameter fields here, and this one does take a parameter. It's called a, it's an integer, and it's called hit damage. And then we've got the body in here, and the method body just reduces the field called HP 
by the hit damage. So I'm going to put HP minus equals hit damage. I could have also said HP equals HP minus damage, or hit damage, and that would have been fine as well. In fact, if this is confusing, maybe I should do that. HP equals HP minus hit damage. All right, number 10, create a method called getName whose only purposes are to return the value of the object's field called player name and it's a string type. Okay, so here we're going to have again public and unlike this, this one's going to return a string. So the return type is going to be string instead of void. Then the name get name. Here's where we put the parameters. There's no parameters needed. Here's the curly brackets that make up make the body. And all we need to do is return the um, player's name. So we put re the keyword return player name. And that return player name, which we assume based on the question that that is a string. So that's how we answer number 10. Number 11, an object named Bo has a method called fire. How do you call the fire method? Well, we would write the object's name, in this case, Bo, dot, and then its method, which in this case is called fire. We've got to put parentheses here, because when we call any method, we have to include parentheses. In this case, the parentheses are empty. No parameters need to be passed. And so that's all we have there with question number 11. All right.